Let's talk about methadone abuse now. Methadone, like any other controlled substance or opiate, can and often is abused. There are different forms of abuse of methadone. The first one is when a person is prescribed methadone and they take more than what is prescribed. The problem with this is that it has the obvious risk of overdose as methadone is very easy to overdose on accidentally. Another form of methadone abuse is when a person mixes other controlled substances with methadone that were not meant to be mixed or the physician that prescribed the methadone was not aware of the mixing. This also has a very, very high risk of overdose as methadone is dangerous when mixed with other controlled substances due to the many medication interactions that it has. Another form of abuse is when a person takes methadone intermittently to contain or control their opiate addiction habit. This has also the risk of overdose enabling that person to continue to abuse opiates when they really should be seeking help. The last form of methadone abuse is when the person takes methadone that is not prescribed to them for strictly recreational reasons. Again, overdose is the main concern as methadone is so easy to overdose on. Now I mentioned overdose on all of these scenarios because that really is the single biggest concern with methadone abuse, that tendency to overdose accidentally. Now there are reasons why methadone is so much easier to overdose on than conventional opiates. Part of it is the chemical nature of methadone. One is that it lasts a very long time and a person who is abusing methadone may not feel the effect from methadone as quickly as they would like to, so they take more. The problem with this is that because methadone lasts a long time, it can build up in their system and it can give them an overdose either hours or if not a day later from methadone buildup if the person just keeps taking it. That is one common form of methadone overdose. Usually the way that picture would look is the person, they just think they're falling asleep and they never wake up. They die in their sleep. Really what happened was as the overdose was progressing, they undergo what's called nodding off where they essentially fall asleep due to chemical intoxication after which their heart stops and they do not wake up. The other forms of methadone overdose can happen a little more quickly where the person can stop breathing within a matter of even minutes from a sensitivity reaction to the methadone that is often unpredictable. Some patients can take very high doses of methadone and not even blink an eye whereas others will overdose at very very low doses of methadone even though their tolerance for opiates is otherwise very, very high. This is a common phenomenon with methadone, which is why when it is started, it should only ever be started by a physician that is experienced in using methadone, and it should be done under observation in the office. The other risk with methadone is that when it is abused or it is not monitored, it can cause an arrhythmia that can stop the heart and kill the person as well at a lower dose than would normally cause a simple overdose. This side effect is common and has been realized in recent years and has been included in the warning labels on methadone package inserts over the last couple of years as a result.